This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. Over the weekend, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott was asked six times whether he would accept the results of the 2024 election. Six times Tim Scott was asked this. Will you accept the results of the 2024 election? And six times Tim Scott, United States Senator from South Carolina, refused to say yes. He refused to say that he would accept the results of the 2024 election. I served with Tim Scott in Congress. I know Tim Scott. Tim Scott back then was an honorable guy. Tim Scott, like damn near every one of my former Republican colleagues, has sold their soul to someone they know to be unfit. They've sold their soul to an authoritarian. I'm not going to spend another minute on that. We all know that. You know that. I can't let this go, though. We have to be on the same page with this. Elections. Let me start at the top again. We have a representative democracy. Every two years, we vote, to, we vote for people to represent us. We send them to our state capitals. We send them to our city councils. We send them to Washington, D.C. to represent us. We have these things called elections, and we're all in, and we all fight like cats and dogs to win our elections, but somebody wins and somebody loses, and sometimes our guy wins and sometimes our gal loses, but we have a deal between all of us that every two years, no matter who wins or who loses, we all accept the results. We all accept the will of the people and we, we're knocked down and we get back up and we, we run our people again in two years. But we all have this silent agreement that we accept who wins and who loses. This silent agreement among us, among the people, is what keeps this thing going. It's what keeps this representative democracy going. Without this, without the American people accepting the results of the elections every two years, we wouldn't have this. We couldn't have a representative democracy. We couldn't have a democracy. Elections are, 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 are the heartbeat of our democracy. Right? It's, it's like we all every day can't vote on, on immigration law on, or on health care law or on how or how much we should help Ukraine, the people, we don't have a direct democracy, so the people every day can't vote on these things. Our deal is we vote for people to represent us to vote on these things. And if the American people stop believing in the process, the process of electing people to represent us, our democracy ends. It ends. The heart stops beating, and this thing's over. Make no mistake. When I say Trump's trying to end our democracy, this is what he's doing. He's sowing distrust in our elections. We have the most secure and the safest elections in the whole world. Trump wants the American people 
not to trust our elections. He's sowing distrust. He wants there to be violence if he loses. But worse, he wants the American people to no longer have faith in our elections. If he succeeds, when that happens, we're done. Our democracy is done. This is who Trump is. He's a bad guy, a horrible guy, an un-American guy. He's a traitor to this country. Tim Scott, he's not alone. All these other Republicans who now not only say the 2020 election was stolen, a lie, but now they're doing the same thing Trump's doing, heading into 24, refusing to say that they'll accept the results of the election if they lose. So if it's not just bad, evil, un-American, traitorous Trump saying this, but other Republicans like Tim Scott saying this, well, then the Republican Party will be on record attacking our democracy. This will only facilitate the number of Americans who no longer have faith in our elections. We can't let this go. We have to talk about this every day. We talk a lot about preserving, defending, saving our democracy. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. This, this attack on our elections process right now is the most immediate and direct threat on our democracy. So it's incumbent upon all of us every day to scream from the mountaintops about what Trump and the Republicans are doing. And oh yeah, the other thing we can and must do is spank the hell out of them in 2024. This, this mindset that would so distrust in our elections needs to be defeated in 2024. We need to defeat MAGA and we need to defeat them thoroughly. They need to lose by a lot. They'll still scream the election was stolen, but it's a lot more difficult to scream the election was stolen if you got your ass kicked, if the election wasn't close. So they need to lose by a lot. Don't stop talking about this. Make it a good week. Joe Walsh here, Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. That's my email. One word, Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. Thanks. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.